Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. If you're here for the first time, I appreciate you for opening up that thumbnail. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back, showing your girl some love. You know, I appreciate you as well, as you all already know. So anyway, y'all, this is my second haul. This haul is a little more affordable than the last one I, I just did. I attempted to do, I ad actually did a haul yesterday, but for some odd reason, it was 36 minutes long, y'all. So when you go to that video, just get coffee, tea, something, and relax and enjoy the haul. So it's 36 minutes long, but I was unable to upload it. It took 24 hours. So finally, I don't know what's going on with my phone. Finally, I was able to check my iCloud when I got home because I have been doing a lot of things for my phone. Um, right now, it, it's not up yet, but hopefully it will be soon because I completely didn't want to do it over again. I was like, Lord, please, I do not want to do this over again. 36 minutes, it was some first impression, some unboxing. So I wanted it to be very authentic and it wouldn't have been authentic if I would have had to do it over again. So hopefully the video will be coming soon and uploading on a really fun niche and designer authentic haul. And uh, I gave a lot of people some shout outs in that video and it was just an amazing video because as you all know, I was out of town for a couple weeks and then I just got back in. So I was really excited to see everybody and to do the haul. So, you know, there was a little bit of joy and excitement throughout the video. So anyway, hopefully we can get that uploaded soon. It might have to come in after this one, but we will see. But anyway, this is haul number two, all right? <laughs> and this one's a more affordable haul. Well, I think it's a more affordable haul, you know, based on the last one that I did. And uh, we're just gonna get into it. So if you are new, please like, comment, subscribe. I already know you subscribe to this channel, you know, as soon as you opened up that thumbnail because you saw your girl, your new girl and who it was. So, you know, turn on those notification bells, you know, just go watch all my other videos and just have a good old time, relax and enjoy some fragrance knowledge, the little that I can offer. And, you know, I don't know, enjoy some views as well. All right, so without further ado, you know, haul number two, without further ado, Haul number two, y'all, that rhymes. <laughs> so let's get into this. Um, this is a designer. Yeah, no, yeah, this is basically a designer fragrance haul. There's no niche in this one. There's another haul that's gonna be coming and that's gonna be haul number three. And y'all, I think I'm done after that, okay? Anyway, so I hope you guys love my caftan. You know, it's the color green. You know, I felt like money today, like rich. Um, you know, I'm gonna start, start showing you all my earrings and everything, you know, cause you all seem to love my jewelry. I love jewelry. I'm like such a jewelry head. Um, these beautiful earrings, they're like Turkish. Um, they come from Turkey. I actually ordered them on Etsy. Um, they're like um, different metals. Um, this is not real. This is basically probably brass and um, silver, not real silver. Um, but they're beautiful. I love very detailed earrings and just, you know, beautiful things that accent my outfit. Um, my Hamza necklace I got from AsaCaftans.com. My caftan came from AsaCaftan.com. You can also find them on Etsy as well. You know, these stunning bracelets. Um, these came from Asa Caftans, but I don't even think she has them anymore. And my absolutely beautiful uh, ring. This was given to me by someone in uh, Morocco. I went to Tangier, Morocco, and then I walked into a store and I purchased a necklace from this guy and he ended up giving me this ring. It was a very touching moment. You know, I actually cried and, you know, we exchanged some words because, you know, I'm never going to see him again. But anyway, it was a very heartfelt and touchy moment. So when I wear certain pieces, when I wear certain pieces, they are very sentimental and they mean so much. And it came from Morocco, y'all across the world so anyway i love it and this one actually it's uh the goddess inana and this one actually just came from asa caftans so that concludes my jewelry today and this uh beautiful stunning embroidered caftan all right so let's get into these fragrances y'all all right you ready you ready you ready, you ready i'm ready okay so the very first one and i do have ariana grande cloud and i thought the bottle was like really kind of like fun and just you know pretty kiddish or um, just fun. I don't want to say immature. It's just fun. So this is Ariana Grande. Thank you. Thank you, next. Thank you, next. 
Anyway, but I love that song. Um, I'm so grateful for my ex, okay? Thank you for teaching me, okay? Every lesson that I've learned to become a better me. Anyway, we won't get into that. So, an amazing fragrance, y'all. Beautiful. I actually like the pink bottle. I actually bought another one for my niece. I'm sending to her the little girl that's on my IG. She loves fragrances as well. You know, um, I hope I don't turn her into like a little monster. But, um, you know, it comes in this. This is a fun little container. Um, if you don't like the container, you can just put it on your dresser like this. So in this, you know, it's really fruity and fresh. I'm not going to go into the notes, but, you know, because I don't want this video to be too long. You know, it's sweet. It smells of like grapefruit, citrus, you know, kind of like cotton candy, um, citrusy cotton candy, you know, but I really like this, you know, um, am I going to wear it? I'll probably use it as like a gem scent, um, you know, but I thought it was like a really cute bottle in it. I think I got it for like less than $30. So yeah, it's definitely worth the 30 bucks, y'all. So the next one we have, and I was really intrigued because you all know, what my favorite note is everybody say it saffron all right <laughs> so this is clean reserve i saw veronica purchase some clean reserve scents uh there's one other one that i want to get into i think it's called like warm cotton uh but they didn't have that one available so i still smell the ariana grande i'm thinking next it smells really good very clean soft you know sensual very feminine so this one um when i sprayed it i didn't it was really abrasive for me in the opening and I think the saffron was really tart in here um but in the dry down I liked it the saffron became more smooth very clean a very light scent almost reminds me of Baccarat oh you know what this reminds me of um not amazing grace um, it's the other Baccar it almost smells like Baccarat Rouge 540 it gives me those vibes and I think it's because of the saffron so, but it gives like a cleaner scent, a very lighter scent, not that really burnt um, sugary or burnt cotton candy scent. This is very light, but this smells just like, yeah, Baccarat Rouge 540, um, like, but just lighter. So if you can't tolerate that, then you might want to get um, a Clean Reserve, and this is Ambery Saffron. Go ahead and spray this. Yeah. It's giving me those vibes. I like it. It's a very clean scent. You can actually, you know, this was very affordable as well. I think about $30. Um, you know, you can use this as a very good linen spray as well, you know, if you don't want to spray it on your body. But it's definitely a wearable spray. But I like it a lot. Very soft. Very, very soft. Uh, the next we have, finally, they actually had it. Um, I have all the other Nina Ricci's and I'll do a series on those. Um, I got um, Lextas Rose Absolute by Nina Ricci. They said this is a dupe. Um, it's supposed to be a dupe for um, MFK's Oud Satin Mood. So we'll go ahead and spray this. I did order a sample of Oud Satin Mood that's on the way. So hopefully um, I'll be able to test those together on you know video to let you all know what I think. Did I get this in my eye? Yeah, I did, but it's okay, y'all. I can see. <laughs> so, I like it. It's very, um, this is very projecting. The performance on this is amazing. So, anyway, it comes, I didn't even show you the bottle. The performance on this is amazing. You know, um, comes in this really nice box. But it does have a really deep, oody, rosy smell. Um, and um, um, I like it. It's a bit strong for me. I would maybe do like two sprays and that's probably it. But I like it, but I don't love it, okay? But like, if you like MFK's Usat Mood, they said it's pretty much exact. So um, I can't wait to get my Usat Mood to try it out. So the next one we have, and I'm gonna unbox this one. I always hear about Philosophy's Amazing Grace, y'all. So I've been hearing about Philosophy's Amazing Grace for years. Um, I saw that they had an EDT and an EDP. I read the review, the reviews, and I was like, you know what? They said that the EDP is much stronger than the EDT. So I went on ahead and got the EDP. So let's go ahead. This is the first impression of Amazing Grace, the um, ED. 
P, y'all. So um, it comes in this really cute bottle, you know, kind of reminds me of something else, maybe a Chanel fragrance. Um, so let's go ahead and spray this. I'm still smelling um, Rose Lex Sauce Absolute. It's pretty strong, y'all. So, Amazing Grace. I'm gonna spray it on my hand, on my skin. It's very soft, y'all. I'm getting more of the alcohol upon first spray. I'm trying to wait to see if it dries down. It's really soft. It reminds me of, I think almost like Juliet has a gun. One of those fragrances. Yeah, it's really soft. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but you know, because I, even though this is a very soft fragrance, um, I don't know if I would wear this to bed because it's almost non-existent. <laughs> and the dry down, it's getting a little more citrusy and um, I'm getting some amber, but um, it's okay. Would I purchase this again? No, you know? So this is the Amazing Grace, the EDP. Yeah, it's okay. So anyway, if the EDP smells like that, then the EDT must smell like really light, like hardly anything. Yeah, a little citrusy, yeah, ambery. So anyway, the next one um, is Ginger Picante. Now I did uh, spray this uh, a couple times. I did not like the opening, and this is, oh, let me show you the box, and this is Guerlain's um, Aqua Allegoria line. Everybody knows that I love Mandarin Mazalik, I love Tezora, I love Pamplaloon, um, and then there's another one that I have that's, I think it's Bergamot something. So I love all of those, but Mandarin Mazalik and Pamplaloon and Tezora are my, that's my jam, y'all. So um, I do love those. This one, it was supposed to be spicy, so Ginger Picante. Um, in the opening, I was like, ooh, this is like a bit abrasive. But in the dry down, it was good, you know? But it's really similar. It's still giving me the vibes of all of them mixed together with a little bit of spiciness. So yeah, I do get the spiciness. It smells like a um, black pepper, you know, a little bit citrusy. I'm getting like I'm getting like a floral note in here as well. Maybe carnations or something. I'm not sure. I didn't look up the notes or check anything, you all. But yeah, it's a little sweet, slightly sweet. It's not gourmandish at all. But I'm definitely definitely getting spiciness from the ginger. I like it, but um, I have four others, and this is probably like my fifth favorite, you know, in line. So. It's okay, would I purchase this again? No, I wouldn't. So that's uh, Aqua Allegoria's, uh, let me show you the bottle. Don't know if you guys saw it, Aqua Allegoria's Ginger Picante. It's a nice, it's an okay fragrance. The, so the next one, you know, I wanted to add this to my coconut collection. I'm gonna be doing a video soon on my updated coconut scents because I did a really short one just to pair it with the Trader Joe's coconut cream because um, I wanted you all to show how you can layer the cream with the coconut fragrances. And I think I only did like four fragrances, but I have a ton of coconut fragrances. So I'm gonna do an updated video on uh, my recent purchase of coconut fragrances and then the rest of the coconut fragrances in my collection. So this one is actually Aqua Allegoria's Coconut Fizz. Y'all, this bottle was sold out everywhere. You know, I really, really wanted it and I'm not gonna do it again, but I actually overpaid for this. I think it was like $99 and that's a bit ridiculous to pay $99 for Aqua Allegoria and this little bottle. I think on Fragrance Buy and Fragrance fragrance net you can get it for about 50 60 dollars but yeah totally wasn't worth it and i expected amazing things out of this because of the price that i paid and it was just okay so this one to me it smelled like coconut water like sweet coconut water 
It wasn't this super huge projecting, massive creamy coconut scent. I got a really aromatic, you know, very clean, you know, coconut water scent. It's It smells a little aquatic, like, you know, like sea notes. I'm getting sea notes and coconut, a little saltiness, but you know, this is not brown breaking. Would I buy this again? Absolutely not. You know, even on the skin, it just smelled like a bit of coconut, nothing like amazing. You know, I have some stunning coconut fragrances that I'll let you guys, you know, see soon, but it's okay, you know? Um, you know, if you, yeah, I wouldn't purchase it again, period. <laughs> so next we have, um, this is Comptoir uh, Sud Pacific. And this is uh, Aqua Motu, and this is supposed to be an amazing coconut scent. So let's get into it, y'all. First impressions, unboxing. Comes in this beautiful blue box. The bottle's nice, though. Ooh, I like the bottle. This I actually thought this was metal when I purchased it. This is the 100 ml, and I think I got this for about $40 on Fragrance Buy. It's actually glass, and it's silver. It's like a luminescent silver color. This is a really cute bottle, y'all. I like it a lot. So um, let's go ahead and get into it once again. This is um, a Comptoir Sud Pacific. Uh, Aquamotu. Oops. Now this, I'm really getting coconut. Yeah, and some amber. It smells like amber. But I'm going to go ahead and spray this on my hand because I really like it. Y'all, my scent of today, I sprayed it a little bit on my arms and chest and everything. It's Lolly Bella by Mimo Paris. I absolutely love Lolly Bella. It's coconut in Lolly Bella as well. It's peach, it's pineapple, um, coconut, peach, pineapple. There's some like tobacco leaf in it. So in the dry down, it gives you a slight scent of tobacco because I really don't like tobacco, but it's very tolerable. You know, if you want to introduce yourself to tobacco, then definitely get Lolly Be Bella by Mimo Paris. But it's a very complex fragrance, blended very well, and it's delicious. So this is good. It smells a little um, like you're burning a coconut, like a little bit of a smoky coconut. Yeah, I'm getting sea notes in this as well, kind of some saltiness. Let's let that dry down. I like it. So this is Aquamotu, you know, the bottle stunning 100 ml bottle. Yeah, I like it. And I think in the dry down, as it's drying down right now, it smells like it's going to really get more coconutty because it's starting to, there's like some saltiness, not Play-Doh-y uh, smell, but you know what this smells like? Juliet has a gun, the vanilla, the one that's in the yellowish blue bottle. Yeah, as it dries down, it smells just like Juliet has a gun, the vanilla one. Yep. Because I really don't like Juliet has a gun, the vanilla one, so I completely picked it up in here in the dry down. But it's not as strong as that. That vanilla uh, and the salt is not as strong in this one. But yeah, I would wear this. Definitely a spring, summer, beachy, you know, run around town type scent. But yeah, totally y'all. This cheaper price, completely. Juliet has a gun, the vanilla one that comes in the yellowish turquoise bottle. 100%. All right. So anyway, the next, we're going to be really fast, y'all. So um, I bought all of these fragrances. Um, and this is... Uh, based on a video that Marshall Blends, 
uh, Marshall Blends fragrances did. And these are Elizabeth Arden's uh, green tea fragrances. Y'all know I love tea, so um, let's get into it. Without further ado, let me stop talking. And uh, I should have opened up the box before I started the video. But these are all first impressions. We'll be fast. So this first one is the Fig fragrance. So, um, we'll go ahead, the cute bottle. You know, if anything, these were like $15, one was $12. Um, I think one was like $27 was the most expensive one, and I think that was the big one. And then there's a summer one as well. Um, but let's go ahead and smell it. If anything, you can use these as like linen sprays, you know, spray on your shower curtain to make your bathroom smell good. Um, you know, just uh, room sprays, you know, in general, a couch, whatever. So it's very green, leafy green. I'm getting like a little fig. You know, I'm getting fig and fig leaves and green tea. It's a nice fragrance. It's very mild. It's not like green green to where it's like annoying and very in your face. But I do like this. I actually like it better than the two aqua allegorias that I just purchased, the coconut fizz and... Um, and ginger picante. I like this. There's a bit of sweetness to it. It's very soft. But yeah, I like this one. This one is um, green tea fig. All right, so the next one, y'all, let's get into green tea mango. Definitely putting these in my bathroom. <laughs> but, you know, you can wear them as well. They're not just going to be bathroom fragrances, y'all. So, uh, the bottle's really cute, you know. This is green tea uh, mimosa. Sorry, not mango. Green tea mimosa. Go ahead and spray this. I love Joe Malone's cardamom and mimosa. One of my favorite scents. Definitely green tea. It's more citrusy, sparkling. Yeah, I'm just getting a citrusy like green tea. Kind of like a mandarin, but slightly sparkling. This one's okay. I wouldn't purchase this again, but I would definitely purchase that fig one again. So the next one we have is yuzu. Everybody knows that I love the note of yuzu. Well, not everybody, but you know, um, ever since I've um, gotten True Sardi, which has an amazing yuzu note inside, I when I see yuzu, I'm like on it, okay? So anyway, the bottle is really pretty. Y'all, these bottles are super cute. So this one's green tea yuzu. So expecting big things. It's good, but I'm um it's the Yuzu's trying to push through, but I'm getting more citrus. Yuzu has a specific um scent to it, like an orangish, orangish, lemonish um creaminess to it. This almost smells like the one I just sprayed, um, green tea and mimosa. So no, I wouldn't buy the Yuzu again. Alright, next we have green tea pomegranate. Yeah, and these are very affordable, so I kind of like splurged a little bit over. I went out of control, okay, with the green tea fragrances. Now, let's hope this one smells good because one of my favorite fruits is pomegranate, pomegranate and watermelon. All right, bottles pretty. Sorry, I'm not showing you all the bottles. Cute bottles. I like it. Definitely smells like pomegranate, like a deep red, juicy pomegranate. I will definitely purchase this again if I ran out. Yeah, I really like it. This one's very, it's this one's sweeter than the fig. Yeah, you can carry this in your bag to freshen up your car, like just to freshen up while you're running around. Yes, I, de I absolutely love the green tea pomegranate. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, next we have a green tea nectar blossom. 
I hope this one's a sweet, just like the pomegranate. I love a good, sweet smelling fragrance, not sickly sweet, but very sweet, especially mixed with a mandarin note or orange blossom. Oh yeah, these bottles are very, very attractive, y'all. And this is green tea nectar blossom. I like it. First impressions? Yes, it smells peachy actually. Yeah, nectarine blossom, my bad. That's why it smells peachy. I said nectar blossom. Yep, smells like nectarine. I like it, I would repurchase this one again, so yeah. So the fig, pomegranate, and nectarine are definitely a hit. Love, love, love this stuff, yeah. This is good. It gives me real good nectarine. Then last but not least is Green Tea Summer. And this is probably just a combination of every single one of them, y'all. Yeah. All right, this is the bottle. It's just green. This is the bottle that I least like out of all of them, but you know, whatever. So let's go ahead. And this is Green Tea Summer. The automizers are actually pretty fair on here, y'all. Okay, so this is okay. Uh, this is taking me back to camp. Like, y'all, I just had some nostalgia just being at Camp Round Meadows, you know, smelling that ivy, that citrusy. I'm getting all sorts of fruits in here, like, um, you know, a hosh posh of like passion fruit, nectars, juicy, like pear, peaches. It's not really citrusy more of um, tropical fruits. Yeah, this is very soft. You don't really get the green note. There's less greenness in this one, green tea, than all of them. But yeah, actually like this, but y'all, yeah, this smells like something that I used to smell just walking in the mountains at Camp Round Meadow when I was like 10 years old. Yeah, I like it. Anyway, I like it, I don't love it. I love these. Uh, nectarine Blossom, Pomegranate, Fig. I love those. I like Green Tea Summer. And I really don't like, it's like a, a meh, Green Tea Mimosa and Green Tea Yuzo. This is like meh. So anyway, that is my affordable haul conclusion. And hopefully I'll be able to upload that other video because it's amazing, y'all. And I want it to be authentic and I don't want to have to do it over again because I want you to get the real experience of how the, I did a lot of unboxing, first impressions, and these were like some amazing niche fragrances that you all probably have been eyeing for a while. So I hope I can get it uploaded. Anyway, y'all, oh, and this one too. Phone, please be good to me, all right? Universe, please let me be great today, all right? <laughs> so anyway, love you all. Take care of yourself. Have an amazing weekend. Big ups to it being Friday, Friday, may I say. And um, go out, spread amazing siage, love. You know, do good, be good, give love, and, you know, share what you have, y'all. Life is too short to not share and to not, you know, just respond positively. All right, have an amazing weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.